Okay, so um, so today I'd like to give an introduction about the idea of Happy Nights. Um, so it's uh, designed to be a new network assistant framework for high energy physics analysis. Um, so uh, first, what does this name mean? So it means the high energy physics Python based and neural network assistant framework. Um, and then what does uh, Happy Night do? So the major feature uh, are three things. One is that it's uh, targeting high energy physics analysis. So it's trying to perform typical MOA studies in physics uh, analysis with neural network. Um, and uh, it's config driven because all the tasks are defined by simple configs, actually no code needed for the neural network. And uh, it's all the codes are are written in pure Python. And as Python is, is a mainstream language for neural network study right now, it will help us easier to use the uh, new packages that come out that may help us uh, in some aspect. And currently it's based on Keras with TensorFlow backend. Um, and but in the future, we're, is, uh, we're considering support other frameworks uh, as well. And the goal is that we want to quickly set up the uh, new studies or analysis uh, without write any code uh, as users, and uh, we can have a good record of neural network study history uh, because each config file defines a study. And if we uh, want to compare uh, two different studies, we just compare the config. Uh, that will already tell what's changed. And another thing that we can have uh, shared efforts from different uh, persons. Uh, as the functionality de developed by one person that can be easily applied to another person's analysis easily, uh, usually just add a few lines uh, of config files. Uh, like in this picture, I shows the mm, basic workflow using the Happy Night. So first you will have some con uh, convert the root files uh, with uproot uh, to the pandas data frame, which is the default format in Happy Night. And currently, but we are constantly support more formats, of course. Um, and then we, the following steps are all defined in the config files. We need to have some pre-processing, like we want to normalize it with mean and uh, standard duration, and we got inputs. Um, and then we can uh, first to do some manual tuning. We can try different setup to do the uh, training and see how it works uh, in the end. And uh, after a few times, we may have an uh, idea what kind of um, uh, value that makes sense to uh, for the ha hyperparameters. Then we can go to the auto tuning, and we here we just set up the algorithm, like for example Bayesian, and uh, then set up the search space. Then we it can uh, automatically uh, tune in the hyperparameters with the uh, iteration itself. And in the end, once we got the optimal. Uh, models, we can try to see uh, the performance as well. And like we can have plot the DNS, basic DN score, we can check the ROC and other metrics. And also we can produce the inputs for the fitting framework and we can check the fish importance with permutation method and so on. Um, so the this page shows the core package used in Happy Night right now. So for data processing, we are um, use the uproot and uh, pandas for management. And for the training, we currently use the Keras with TensorFlow backend and uh, use sklearn to help some uh, processing in some sp space. And uh, uh, for the tuning, we are using the Raytune, uh, which is can experiment, uh, exact, can do the experiments of different hyperparameters at any scale. And uh, for plot, right now we are using just basic metaplotly, but I saw a good uh, package that uh, MPL have today. Maybe we can use that in the future for better and easier plots. Um, like this page shows the core, well, core concept of the config files where uh, that defines a job. So we currently we use uh, YM format and we have three different type of uh, configs. Like we have train, uh, one type for tune and also for apply. And in total, we have six sections plus one uh, run section that manage it at the running time. And we can see some examples here. Um, like we have these three sections are just are, are some general settings for different uh, uh, job types. 
like we can first including some dependence config files and uh, and for job section we can have some uh, general settings like the specified job type and the safety direct, uh, directory to save the outputs and also sometimes you may want to set up the random seed as well to have a, a repeatable result and that also can be done in the job section and in the inputs we specify the source of inputs and we want to specify what kind of features we want to use what kind of process we want to include and what kind of pre-processing we want to do like we can have um, a normalized uh, array and we can also have some scale of the training weight and also we can like uh, uh, here we can re some re reset features that's mainly for the um, parameterized neural network and for the training is uh, quite straightforward here we just have some model class developed for the different high energy physics task uh, and then you just put some uh, parameter that just uh, car basic carries uh, parameters and uh, you specify here and we the code will read it and to do the training and you set up uh, the early stopping as well, the, the metrics you want to monitor as well. And then for the tuning here, um, so so here we want to do a automatic uh, hyperparameter tuning. We need to set up the algorithms and as the read package support many uh, other algorithms like the Optuna hyperopt vision. So basically it's very flexible to choose what we want. And then you set up a search space as defined uh, here. Um, basically, it's just a similar uh, set uh, configs like the training config file. So you set up different hyperparameters. But one difference in that in here you can set a fixed value, but you can also set up a, a spacer. Uh, set set up a dimension here. For example, here you set a dimension uh, between. 0 and 0, 6, 9. And then later, we'll, the algorithm will do a scan at this dimension. And you can specify multiple dimensions as well. So the, that which makes the uh, our search space a multi-dimensional uh, space. And in the end, after we finish the uh, training and uh, tuning, either by hand, uh, either by hand or uh, automatic tuning, uh, we want to look what it looks like, and uh, we can book different studies. Like uh, uh, here, we want to we can check the history, we can check the kinematics, and check the uh, MLA scores. Um, uh, yeah, and also we can check the uh, kinematics before and after some uh, DNA cut, and also importance uh, studies. Um, and uh, this okay, it's yeah. two minutes. Yeah, uh, and this. Is some examples of I got from um, real uh, analysis currently, and uh, I see, um, for example, that the top left one is show some metrics that you booked during the training, and you see the how uh, how the metric changes uh, when the epochs increase, and here is actually a include a K for the training as well, and uh, the mid top middle one is the some. Uh, score distribution of different process. And top left, what uh, if the important studies that tells you which features may more important to your uh, deep neural training and you can remove that not important uh, features in the future training. And uh, yeah, and top uh, bottom left, I show some kinematic before and after cuts and the middle some significant scan and also some correlation studies as well. Um, and so for the summary, um, the heavy has been developed to help set up neural network studies in high energy phases analysis with simple configs. Uh, but the development is still at very early a stage. It's currently being improved based on the use, usage and several ongoing analysis. Uh, and, uh, and some of them is at the EB uh, stage. I think that will help a lot to us to improve the, uh, the heavy night. And also the suggestion and join the efforts for development as user or developer at this early stage is really uh, welcome and uh, appreciate. Okay, that's all. Thank you very much. Speaking of suggestions, there are two questions on Slido. Uh, could you share uh, the Slido screen so that we can see the questions, you read them and answer? So make them big, yeah. Oh yeah, first of uh, for Jason, uh, yeah, at the beginning actually I was using 
uh, JSON and both for all, also the initial format, but uh, later I found is uh, doesn't have a very it's not easy to use, especially when you have includes on dictionaries and uh, uh, list. So, so and when I use the YML, it's very easy to process everything I want. So, uh, in the end, I choose to use the YML. But uh, yeah, I think this is okay, just uh, as long as it works. So, um, and for the second. Um, Question: How many hyperparameters are cast during the optimization by default? Um, I, I remember the default value is one hundred, but so you can set up uh, yourself. Usually, I I will do a one thousand or a few hundred uh, scan uh, for the hyperparameter over uh, auto tuning. Uh, 